What up guys, this is Khalil coming back at you with another Vita tutorial. Um, some of you are asking on how to uh, uh, do a quick test for the fuel pump. Uh, let me increase exposure here. Alright, so... Uh, obviously you need Vita for this. Um, you'll be at this screen when you start. It'll show you the information from your car, or details. Uh, you'll go to vehicle communications. Hopefully, you can see my cursor. It's right here. Uh, you go to vehicle communications. You click on ECM, which is the engine computer mo or control module. Computer module. You go to advanced, and then you expand this right here, and you go all the way at the bottom. It says quick. Hold up. Quick test of fuel pump. Double click that. Alright. Um, it's going to tell you to read like diagnostic codes if there's anything stored for the fuel pump. Whoa, that's a lot of exposure. If there's anything stored for the fuel pump or like fuel system. Um, if you click this, it'll just show you whatever codes you have stored right now. Like this, for example. Um, just ignore that. Um, obviously, what it's doing here is. If there's like fuel pump codes, um, it's kind of asking you to remedy those before you do this test to make sure everything is fine in case there isn't like a major physical issue within the fuel system. Are the diagnostic troubleshooting codes uh, stored? So you say no because there's no fuel pump t uh, codes or fuel system codes. Um, uh, you see these directions here all you have to do is just turn everything in the car off except ignition click on the little ecu box or some shit and it shows your reading and this is 371 kpa kilopascal and then turn on the engine should go down to 300 you're at regular idle speed which is around eight eight hundred something it'll be around 300 kilopascal of pressure so just turn off the car turn ignition back on and click hide is the function of the pressure sensor okay yes so you continue and then Right here is where it gives you all the information on what you saw. So, hint, when idling at operating temperature, the fuel pressure must be approximately 400 kPa. Mine was around 300. Um, I'm not sure if that's a bad thing, but, <laughs> but it's always been like that ever since I tried this test. Uh, and then you click this and it'll do an actual fuel pump test. So click start. Sorry for the background noise. So click start. And this is where it's actually testing the fuel pump. Fuel pressure, relative fuel pressure, and what the ECM is requesting. And you just click stop. There you go. It's pretty simple. Yeah, you can read through all of these. It tells you more. It gives you more info. And then you just click continue, and you're done. You're welcome. 